Let's try this problem right here. What is 3 fifths plus 2 sevenths? Now remember, you can't add fractions unless they have the same denominator, and these two do not. This has a denominator of 5, this has a denominator of 7, so we need to get a common denominator, okay? The easiest way to do that is take the denominator of this one, which is 7, and multiply this by 7 over 7, okay? And take the denominator of this one, which is 5, and multiply this by 5 over 5. Now remember, we're allowed to do that because 7 over 7 and 5 over 5 is 1. So we haven't actually changed the value of 3 fifths or 2 sevenths, okay? Just like 1 half, 2 fourths, you know what I mean? They all have the same value, which is 0.5 if we think of it in a decimal form, or 1 half, okay? So that's why this is okay. So common denominator um, is going to be 35. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to multiply it by 7 over 7. And we're going to take this and multiply it by 5 over 5, okay? So what I'm looking at now is 21 over 35, okay? Plus, again, this is going to be over 35 because that is our common denominator. 2 times 5 is 10, okay? So we are looking at 20. Now, because we have the same denominator, the denominator answer will be 35, okay? And we just add the numerators. So 21 plus 10 is 31, okay? Perfect. There is your answer. Um, now, the one thing I am going to tell you is don't forget to check to see if you can reduce it, okay? You can't um, for a couple reasons. Number one, 31 is prime. And number two, uh, the numerator and denominator are relatively prime, which relatively prime means that they have no factors in common. Um, so there you go.